All right, so uh, before we get started with anything, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. See uh, what Sophia's got. We don't have a lot of money right now, but uh, the nice thing about uh, Persona 5 Strikers, is, unlike uh, Persona 5, is that there isn't really a time limit for these things. And you can go in and out of the metaverse as many times as you need to. So um, we can honestly just keep going back and forth as we progress and then buy more stuff as we need to. Okay, for now, I want to focus on weapons, and we'll eventually get what we need. Uh, okay. Unmarked Katana, I guess, for now. I want to use Yusuke, because I, because it's just amazing. Still not quite enough. Let's uh, discuss what they have to say before we go inside the jail. Mm -hmm. All right, let's discuss our next moves. Aw, oh, man, this rules. When was the last time we had a brief in the hideout like this? Oh, settle down. Although I admit it does have a nostalgic feeling to it. Just to be clear, our objective is changing Alice Hiragi's heart, correct? Right, right. You nailed it, and if we can figure out what this jail thing is and while we're at it, that's even better. We need to return the desires Alice took from those people so we can go back to normal. Right, at this rate, everyone in the world will get turned to Alice's slaves if we don't act soon. Leave it to me. I'll help however I can. So the keyword to enter jail is Wonderland. Before we use that, though, make sure we have everything we need for the infiltration. Got it? Yeah, um... We definitely can't just go back whenever we want. No, we... we yeah, again, the nice thing about Persona 5 Strikers is you really, you really can just go back and forth, and so it's super nice like that. Alright, keep your guard up. So yeah, let's go back into the jail. Our first goal would be the treasure room, yes? I'm sensing something treasure-like over here. That way. Towards 705. That's where you were taken when they captured you, right? Yeah. Just thinking about it pisses me off. The piece of shit was so full of herself. So, Alice is there now, huh? Probably. You know, it does sort of look like a castle. A castle ruled by a monarch. I admit, it's rather fit. So, we're heading to the castle? Yeah, that sounds good. This jail is crawling with shadows. Watch your backs out there. Okay, I'll watch your backs out there. Sophia, you do that, sweetheart. <laughs> Sophie's inaugural heist is a phantom fee. This'll be great. We don't know the opposition will face. Be sure to switch out team members when necessary. Changing party members. In change party, you can manage who will join Joker in the jail. Select up to three teammates who will best fit your party's needs. You can change your party by opening the command menu and selecting stats. This will be done at any time as long as you're outside of combat. Good point. We're at your beck and call, Joker. Okay, um, let's see. I want to change it to... Uh, nope. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Okay, so... Sweet. Yo, this man just yeets in the combat. Be careful. They've got serious numbers. Don't you remember what to do at times like this? Watch for an opening, then jump it from behind. Be careful not to get spotted. Uh, Turo, ambushes, part one. Uh, why from behind an enemy ambush? Ambu approach enemy from behind without being detected and press Y to perform an ambush. Performing an ambush will give you a preemptive strike on the enemy, giving you an advantage at the start of the battle. I'll reveal your true form. Now's your chance! Everyone jump in and take a Baton pass. Baton pass character switch. Perform baton pass with directional buttons. Passing the baton temporarily boosts the, the rate that the showtime gauge increases. We did it! That ambush was a real success! Ambusher. Plus HP to all party members had a successful ambush. It's been quite some time since we fought last night. My body is still ready for more. They'll go a lot smoother whenever we ambush them like that, too. The other thing. If we're spotted, they'll get the upper hand against us. 
Keep sharp out there. Tutorial encounters. Performing an ambush will trigger a preemptive strike, giving you an advantage at the start of the battle. However, if you are spotted by an enemy, you will be ambushed instead, putting you at a disadvantage at the start of the battle. I guess now we just push forward and see what we see. Navigator at the red. Uh, tutorial analyze the enemies with the third eye. Hold left trigger for third eye. Hold left trigger to use third eye, which enables you to see things you wouldn't normally be able to see. Third eye can be used to determine enemy strength. Strong enemies have a red aura, weak enemies have a blue aura. Use this information to choose this battles to fight. So just so there's no um, confusion, I'm not going to um, be showing you guys every single fight that I do, unless a tutorial happens or it's explicitly required. So if I think it's important, I'll show it. But otherwise, no. Fire! Well, that works. Persona. Analysis. You can now use analysis. Enemy information will be displayed while summoning Persona with um, right B by using third eye with LT when Oracle or when Oracle forms a scan. Analysis allows you to confirm Shadow's weaknesses and resistances, as well as whether or not they have a chance to drop a mask, among other useful data. Some skills are activated by consuming HP. HP lost. Through skill use will gradually replenish over time if you do not take damage. Escaping from battle. You can escape from battle by continuously running into a blue keep out barrier at the edge of the battle area. However, escape is not possible with a red keep out barrier. Upon successfully escaping, the battle will end. However, be aware that there are penalties for doing so. Alright, but listen, we got another Bicorn Persona. I want to do a couple more uh, just to kind of cover a little more ground and also um, get a little more experience. Alright, got a jack-o'-lantern. So I believe if we hit um, one of the upper buttons on the D-pad... Go ahead. Understood. Alright, uh, let's talk about Fox's actions. A uh, swift sword play uh, fast in the naked eye. Foxes Y unleash a furious slashes or protect themselves with counters. Time your attacks well to deal heavy damage. Nope, that did not work. I should have just tapped this them behind. Good. We're surrounded. Push them back. Oh, that's cool. All right, technical hits. Technical hits can be triggered by using the corresponding skills on enemies that are inflicted with sassy ailments. They can deal increased damage as well as deplete the down game. Boom. Getting spotted by one of those will mean big trouble. Surrounded in no time. Shadows are patrolling too. No surprise. Security is tight here. A frontal assault sounds like it might be out of the picture. Let's see if we have anything else here. Um. All yours. I got this. All right. Let's uh look at Skull's actions while we're here. Uh, charge up and then let him have it. After Skull's X attack, special attacks can be charged by holding Y. Attack power and range increases as he charge up. Oh, I see. Yep. There we go. Uh, give it a 5 out of 10. Futaba. Look at this man. Look at how he jumps. Yeet. You run along there, getting in the castle should be sick. But there are more searchlights. How will we get past? It's smaller than the other ones. Why don't we just try sneaking past? Yay, 2D platformer! I don't know why they changed it here. I feel like the, um... The not Batman Arkham game that we don't talk about. Whoa! 
<laughs> Holy shit! We can't go any further. They're firing on anything within range. That bear is the stuff of nightmares. Oracle, can you find a way to shut them down? Just a sec. Analyzing. Hmm. Yes! Got it! The searchlight's power source is south of here. South. Yeah, which way is that? In reality, it'd be somewhere around Maruku City. It must be some sort of facility providing power over there. Alright, off to Maruku City. Let's move out. Alright, to Maruku City we go. 2D platformer! Look at this man jump! He is so agile for someone who's being forced to be hunched over by a stupid outfit. The jail looks like Shibuya. But the layout isn't exactly the same. I'm worried we'll get ourselves lost. Yeah, you should keep tabs on your location, Earth. That'll probably help. That's your job, though, Futaba, isn't it? The jail's composed of many different areas. Uh, parks windows to view a map of each area. Use these maps to get an understanding of where your objective is. Alright, let's just run past. Oh, wait. So here's we found something. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Those drones are annoying. Maruku City straight ahead from here. I'll highlight it on your map. Thank you. We should avoid all head-on conflict when possible. Life only gets harder when they're on high alert. And if we're spotted too many times, we'll have no choice but to come back later. Security level. Be mindful of the security level while exploring the jail, as raising the security level has a number of effects. Be aware that the security level reaches 100 percent you will force to be you will be forced to withdraw from jail. You can lower security level by winning battles, you can also check secure level by using the third eye with left trigger. Century here as well. Guess we just have to take that one out. Looks like it hasn't noticed us yet, though. Joker, think you could pull off an ambush from over there? Oh, absolutely, Morgana. Ambushes part two. Why while in hiding ambush? After using Phantom Dash to go into hiding, you can press Y to perform an ambush. until things quiet back down again. Huh, interesting. If enemies spot us too many times, no treasure for us. But... Treasure chest in the jail. If secure level is raised past a certain point, a bearer will appear on the treasure chest in the jail, preventing them from being opened. If the security level is lowered, they can be opened again. much for one pixie. Restocking treasure chests. Some treasure chests may restock their contents when you infiltrate the metaverse. Be careful not to raise the secure level so you can open as many treasure chests as possible. So let me actually Yours. go... Okay. Did not mean to go to Morgana, but sure, we can talk about Mona's actions. Miraculously fast fighter. Mona uses swift movement to unleash a flurry of special attacks on his foes. He had transformed to the Morgana car with Y. See tutorial for details. Oh, I can't run with the little cartoon feet. 
Oh, that's so cute. I oh, love Morgana. He's such that a suspicious. This should prove useful. I love that he has a little like cartoony um, jump sounds too. They know what he is. Look at this man run! He's so adorable. All right, what do we got here? Ah. Well. Freeze. Party members in Flint, if it freeze, will become unable to act. This can be cured with um, Rita Drop, as well as other items of recovery skills. Enemies in Flint, if it freeze, will become unable to act. Physical nuclear tests will trigger a technical hit. Sleep. Party members in Flint, if it sleep, will become unable to act. But recover HP and SP over time. This can be cured with them, Rita Drop, as well as other items of recovery skills. Enemies in Flint, if it sleep, will become unable to act. Full recovery HP over time. Any attack that the enemy does not absorb will no trigger a technical hit. Incoming attack! Brace yourself! <laughs> Persona! You're mine! That is your point of distance! Hit him! Take this! There we go. Nice, we all leveled up. <laughs> what a skill. Stop! Haruku City's right here. Okay. You mean on the other side of that? I don't see a way to open the gate either. Looks like we need an alternative. Such as? I don't think we'll be able to climb that. Um... Look over there. What if we tried going up that way? You mean like we have with several other buildings up until now? At the very least. We might spot a way around this from up there. Good idea. Let's hop on up. I didn't even turn the camera. That's just one button press. All right, what do we got? There is a lot mm. to this place. Oh, um, we still can't see what's going on inside. We'll just have to get even higher. Let's see, what's the tallest building around here? Bingo, let's try getting that one through. It has a name, Morgana. It's Tea Party. Here. All right, I think we can make it up there if we follow those balloons. Right. So we can use those across the rooftops? Great, let's keep our eyes open for any balloons. What? Oh, hold on. Glowing points of the third eye. Certain things will light up when you use the third eye. They usually indicate points which you can use a phantom dash to go into hiding. What is that thing there? That balloon is the stuff of nightmares. Let's do it! Powerful enemies in the jail. Among the enemies encountered in the jail, there may be shadows that are more powerful than normal enemies. These shadows have special names. Battling powerful shadows grants higher experience and guarantees that a mask will drop, among other merits. Knockdown party members. If party members are repeatedly hit too many attacks, it can result in a knockdown. You are more likely to get knocked down if your weakness is hit or if you are struck by a critical or technical hit. You cannot act while you are knocked down. You, um, you'll recover faster through movement input. Shock. Party members with the shock will have their movement speed reduced. This can be cured with them to drop as well as out of that recovery skills. Anything further with shock will have their movement speed reduced. Physical nuclear attacks will trigger a technical hit. Closer to that, some shot enemies have a chance of spreading the ailment. Not yet. It's a strong one. Exploit its weakness to curse. Arsene. You're mine. Keep it going. Striker swap. Directional button during prompts. Striker swap during battle. Teammates may propose actions. Press the corresponding uh, directional button, and they will put on past performance action. Oh, nice Joker. Look at its weakness. Oh, this is great, Joker. Auto evade. When you are attacked, the chance will automatically evade it. The chance of this happening is affected by your persona's AG stats. It's over! 
Let's do this. That's right. one less obstacle in the way. All right, on to the next. Fire! This is your chance. It's showtime! Showtime! Oh. Part set. Here. Didn't mean to do that, but show's over. Wild Rush mastered. Roar additional persona attack with Y after X X X X X Y. There we go. Go up here and down here and treasure chest. Joker. Wow, that actually. Find? That's actually a lot of neat stuff in there. That'll definitely pay off later. Oh, look at that god tier balance. Please be quiet. I don't care for heights at all. This makes me really uncomfortable. I know that there's no risk of me falling, but even so, I would not be comfortable with this. Shiny in it. Among the various other shiny Could things it be a here. Treasure? No, I'm not getting treasure vibes from it. It looks the same, but it's actually totally different. I'm picking up a really strong reading from it. It's connected to the searchlights, too. If we take it, I think we'll cut the power to the searchlights. It seems that is our next step. Let us advance towards the tower. But how do we get up that thing? I don't think I see anything resembling an entrance. Um, pop in from below. Slick plan, Joker. How so? Below us is an underground waterway. Remember? All oh, right. Nice call. Alice dumped us there. That sounds like the best idea to me too. Let's do it. Well, that doesn't add anything we new. I wanted something funny from that. Now I just feel robbed. Ha. Dude, check it out. The treasure chest. The Joker, what did you find? Pulsar. That's a the new weapon for Jesus, Sophia. Smile upon us. Thank you, R and Jesus. <laughs> it's over. I'd call that an easy win. One moment. Something is nearby. Something? What kind of something? I'm gonna guess a blue something. It is a space connected to somewhere. Hmm? Hey, Sophie, you're right. Well, I mean, with such a vague description, I, d I defy you to prove her wrong. It's like the space here is being warped and connected to the crossing? As in the crossing where we first entered the jail? So, if we use this, we'll go back to the entrance? Sounds like moving between the jail and the real world will make our resupply efforts at least a bit easier. That's it. I'm calling this a checkpoint. Go ahead and give it a spin so the location data registers. Okay. Tutorial, checkpoints. As you explore the jail, you will encounter checkpoints. Accessing a checkpoint will register it, allowing you to use the same functions that you could at the jail's entrance. Registering checkpoints also allows you to move freely between them, so it is advised to register them whenever possible. Journey to the real world. You can return to the real world from either the jail entrance or through a checkpoint. Returning to the real world will restore all HP and SP and resets the security level back to zero. There are no downsides to the jail. If you are exhausted from battling, if security level is too high, retreating is a very viable option. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Makro City has been registered to the checkpoint. Um, I want to go to the Velvet Room real quick. Performing a fusion. So it looks like I can't get Silky because I'm not level six. So. May luck be on your side. Never mind. Okay. Um. I'm gonna return for the jail for now and. Uh, See uh, what new equipment I can get.